Hello everyone, welcome back to a house update. Today we're doing a quick check in the basement. Uh, for some, We've got some white fuzzies on the walls down here. And I've been doing some research. And I'm hoping that it's just effluence, which is a type of salt deposit left on concrete after water uh, evaporates. Uh, here it is here. It looks, it looks like uh, mold, but I don't. I'm hoping it's an effluence because I've done some research that uh, mold should not grow on concrete like this. Uh, you see, it's pretty much all over this wall here. Um, mold shouldn't grow on concrete like this since it's a non-organic surface. Uh, so I also read that if you spray it with water, it should dissolve if it is effluence. So we're gonna give it a try here. Got my new shop light. Just hanging out. I got a bottle of just tap water and I uh, I do have my mask on as well just in case So let's give it a spray and hope for the best that it dissolves. Let's see Oh, I think it is it does Dissolves just like salt Try the big one Okay, good. So that means it's non-toxic. It's not mold It is effluence. I would if I'm 99% sure now, it's like a it's like a salt buildup. You can see it just kind of floats to the ground. Uh, it is harmless. Where did that go? See if it stayed in one piece. Yeah. You see down there, it's just kind of falling off the wall. Probably not. You can see over here is a little bit more of the effluence stuff. You can see it's coming right out of the corner quite heavily here. Uh, I did get an electrician in. He quoted me 3,200 bucks to change the panel. Change all the wires on the outside of the house, put in a new sub panel, put in a generator plug outside, not like this one is. I know you guys haven't been down here yet, but we got this big old cabinet, a wash machine, and a dryer you saw over here, or vice versa. No, this is a dryer. That's the washer. We got an old hot water heater, an ancient furnace. Uh, there's the oil tank, another cabinet, no shelving or anything. That's probably coming out. Another cabinet here. Anything inside of it? Oh, some old newspaper. Uh, we got some shelves over here. Got a bucket with an unknown substance in it. Got some shelves there. A bricked up window. Um, a really old, bad electric cord. Shelves. Another cabinet over here. This floor is horrid. You see right there. It's a good shot of all the effluents. I'm going to try to clean off. So first, I'm going to. Try to dissolve it with water and just you see it's all going to kind of fall to the floor that's why i have my mask so then i'm just going to try to wipe it off with a towel and see what happens Hopefully it doesn't grow back. I'm hoping this is all here because the basement did have water in it when the pipes broke, but I can confirm, in my opinion, this is effluence. So I have no problem just tearing it off, wiping it onto the floor, and coming back with a shop vac at a later date and sucking it up. I am going to keep my mask and gloves on, though, just in case there is a little bit of mold here somewhere that I can't see. But uh, thank you all for joining me on that. Hopefully this process goes a little quicker down the rest of the wall when I go get some rags from the garage. Hopefully there's some in there. But anyways, thank you for joining me on this main experience. House continues.